Good language learners. Good morning, everyone. This is the first of three sessions we'll have on the topic of the good language learner. All of you should have been sent the coursework. I hope everyone has had a chance to print out the notes for today and that you've all had time to do the reading. How many of you have the notes and have done the reading? Show of hands? Everyone's done that? Ah, good. Then at least you'll all know what I'm talking about, even if I don't. <laughs> okay, so first, let's brainstorm some of your ideas about the characteristics of good language learners. I'm interested in hearing about your own experiences and opinions, as well as what you've read. All right, Helen, why don't you get us started? Okay. Well, to begin, I think the majority of successful language learners are highly motivated. Good. Fine. What else? I think they need to be willing to take risks and to generally be inquisitive. Good. Highly motivated. Risk-taking. Why do you think risk-taking is important? Not being afraid to make mistakes means that you're actually going to be using the language more, I think. You're kind of experimenting, looking for patterns. Okay, pattern-seeking. Interesting. Anyone else have some ideas? Uh, Charlie? I think being open-minded is essential. Open-minded. Why would that be important, do you think? Well, I think it kind of goes along with pattern-seeking, looking for ways things link up, whether or not the patterns are similar in your first language. It's kind of like creative problem-solving. Actually, I think good language learners need to be a little experimental. I guess that goes along with risk-taking. They're willing to live with not knowing what everything means and how everything works. Okay. Do you think that there are strategies that learners need to have in place to actually use this information? Maxine? I think a lot of good language learners develop their own systems for recording and remembering um, vocabulary, for example. Being well-organized and self-aware are important. As you say, all successful learners have to be able to make use of the information they get. Do you think most people learn a language more easily in a classroom or by just picking it up? It depends on the person. And, of course, it depends on how much language learners are exposed to. Okay, to sum up, provided there is plenty of exposure to the language and that the learner has at least some of these characteristics and strategies, language learning will take place whether or not it's in a classroom. Let's go on now to look at what the implications are for the language teaching classroom. I want you to turn to your textbooks. Part A. Listen to a lecture about good language learning. Who is the lecture for? Choose the correct answer. Part B. Listen again. Choose the compound adjectives that are used to describe good language learners.